Refresh a report like Google. When you have a standard search page, there's no dynamic action. So if we run our application and go to the products page and search for something, we need to press enter before it submits the page and runs the search. If we could do this without submitting the page, we can create a more dynamic and interactive application. The finished product would be suitable for a point of sale system, similar to Google's auto search. It refreshes the report region after each key press. We'll start by modifying the search to focus on results for the product name and description. So I'm going to modify my source to look for product name and description in the search field where the search is blank. And what we also need to do is make sure that the value of P4 search is updated in session state so the database can use it here. Under the report attributes, also make sure that the enable partial page refresh is set to yes. And then all we need to do is define our dynamic action. So we'll call this a refresh report. And it's going to be on change of an item of our P4 search item. In fact, it's not going to be on change, it's going to be on key release. So every time the user presses a key. And we're going to do a refresh. And it's going to be for a region, and it's going to be a products region. And now we can run our page. So if we start typing C, A, you can see the region here being refreshed each time, R, D, and I get a final set of results for anything that has the word card in there. So we've taken a simple report and with one simple dynamic action, we've made it to behave like a more advanced website you may encounter on the web. With this, you may see the potential for other types of refresh events. Next, we'll have a look at browser level validation.